So we have a document, it's got a table of contents, and we want to turn it into an EPUB. Not difficult at all. You can see here it's saved as a, a doc, DOCX, Microsoft Word. First thing we'll do is we're going to save it as an HTML. Now to do that, all I'm going to do is pop it on the desktop, but instead of DOCX, I'm going to choose a web page filtered, and you can see the HTML. I'm not going to worry about changing the title or anything like that at this stage. I'll save it. And now I've got an HTML document. Now the reason HTML is important is because that means all of these links now will work in the EPUB. So for instance this link here, if I saved it as a DOCX, it would simply not work. So I can close that Word document now. And I need to open the software we're going to use to make the EPUB, which is Calibre. Now Calibre is free to download, just Google it. It's available for Mac and PC. Okay, so here's the Calibre interface. I'm only going to choose a couple of options here. The first one, I'm going to add a book, and that's going to add my EPUB to here. Now my EPUB, I popped on the document, and it was called uh, Demo. There it is there. Now, because I made it HTM or HTML, web page filtered, it will have also saved a folder. That's fine, but we need to open the HTML or HTM document. So, I'm going to open that. And you'll see here that it's going to pop it here. There's demo. Now, the next choice I'm going to do is to simply convert the book. And I'll make a few choices. There's my title. I'll maybe give it a capital, capital D, demo EPUB. The author. Now, the author's name is important because you'll see that each time you name the author, that determines the folder that it's going to be found in later. So I'm going to call this author JC for the time being. Publisher, I'll just say AISNSW. Um, I don't really like this cover. I might change the cover image. Um, we'll use that as the cover. And the next thing I'm going to do, because I've got a table of contents, and you would only do this if it was a longish uh, document, if it was only one or two pages you wouldn't bother, but because I've got a table of contents I'm going to use it. So here's table of contents. Now I don't know what to put here. So click the wizard and there's a drop down menu here. Might as well click it. H1 means that my level 1 table of contents here will be determined by what is heading 1. Makes sense? When I click OK, it says H1. Now, I can do the same for heading 2 and heading 3, but by far the quickest way is to copy that and paste it there and just change the 1 to a 2 and paste it there and change the two, the one to a three. And I'm done. So that's going to be um, the only things I'm going to worry about down here. Click OK. Down the bottom here you'll see it's doing a job and now it has finished. I've now got an EPUB. Where is it? Well, in my documents using the Calibre program, I have a Calibre library. And you'll remember I said whatever I, my, whoever my author is, is important. So in the Calibre library, there's JC. That's the book I just made. When I open it, it was called Demo EPUB. It's the 49th EPUB I've made using this program. When I click it, 
there is my EPUB there. That I can easily email to somebody or I can um, pop it on Dropbox and send them the link or do whatever I want with it. So creating an EPUB with Calibre, pretty easy.